as you might not know, the excretory system is the system that helps you go do your necessities in the bathroom. And it's one of the most important systems because it's the one that cleans out your whole entire body. Um, so now I'm going to talk about it. So first, it goes through the kidneys, and the kidneys have this um, chemical that's called bile, and it's a chemical that gets rid of all the toxins from urine. So then it goes through the ureters, which are these two tubes running down that take that transport the urine all the way to the next step, which is the bladder. And the bladder is where the urine gets hold up until you gotta go to the bathroom. So then it exits out your urethra. And to show you, I made a model. But it's not the best one ever. Mm. So this is pee, but not real one. Well, <laughs> so this is here, the kidneys, the ureters, and the bladder. So I'm gonna pour some of this water down to show how it works. So that's how it works. And it goes to the bladder, like that. Uh -huh. So now I'm gonna talk about the four major things that can come out of your excretory system. The first one is pee or urine. And pee is 95% water, and it has urea, which is a chemical that is found in your saliva and body set. It also has pigments, salts, and other chemicals, including blood. And urochrome is the stuff that makes your urine yellow. Um, so that's pretty much about it. Urine, so now I'm gonna talk about poop or feces. Feces is mostly water, salts, bacteria, skin cells, bacteria wastes, and coloring or pigment. And you know like when you see like the feces lying there on the floor in the park and then there's like dogs coming by and flies buzzing around? That's because indole and scattle, that's what attracts them. And they get created when bacteria eats up the remaining food. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much feces. So now diarrhea. Most people think diarrhea is disgusting, but really it's actually pretty cool. And did you know that non-English speakers thought that diarrhea was a very pretty word? Uh -huh. So diarrhea is just like watery feces just more water, um, and it gets created when your guts get irritated and they start to pinch more than usual. And um, so they have to pinch for the food to go by, but since they start pinching so fast, the water is not removed, so that's why the diarrhea is watery. Um, so diarrhea can also be caused by food allergies, food poison, milk intolerance, and etc. And you know after you come from a trip, you usually have diarrhea or after you eat like an exotic food? That's because um, your, your intestines aren't really used to it, so they start pinching. And, um, and that, that diarrhea is called traveler's diarrhea. So this is how you can cure diarrhea. First, you should drink lots of um, juices or waters that have salt and sugars, but Gatorade is one of the best ones. And um, you should also have a bathroom near you. So now we can go to fart. Um, if you want to have farts, which I really don't think you do, you should eat lots of red beans, onions, broccoli, cauliflower, and apples, etc. And they give you farts because they actually don't get, um, they don't break down as easily inside you as other foods do. So that's how you get it. And that bacteria that eats up those foods is called E. coli. Um, and it's pretty cool that this scientist found out that a person farts about 14 times a day, if not more if you have the secret recipe. Um, so if you ever go to the hospital and you have a bad case of farts, instead of saying farts, you should say flatus. 
and instead of saying farting, you should say flatulence. Thank you very much. Any questions? Uh -huh.